So now let's get into some fundamental analysis. We're going to talk about Cadiz Inc. CDZI. I've loved this company. Uh, I first uh, gave this company out in June 2022. There's Patreon notes. They're still on my Patreon. Make sure you go check that out after uh, this video and go check out the uh, article I did back then too because um, we got in super early and you're going to see this ride. So let me just show you the chart that we're working with. One second. We got in June 2022. All right. I think it was the mid of June. So let's say uh, June, I think it was uh, June 14, 2022, right? June 14, 2022, we're at around two bucks. What happens? What happens at the start of uh, J uh, July? Things start getting crazy. We go up in August. August, we're at five. We're at five bucks. All right. We ran that. We saw that. We were there. We, we were there, right? We were there. June, August, we, we ran that. And what did I say back then for people who are still involved and still around in the Discord? I said, take some profits, let it get back down. The fundamental says it should be around two bucks anyway. So I was very patient. We were very patient, super patient. I didn't touch the stock until it got back down here. To like it got hit under two, all right. Well, I was I, I, around like two thirty. I got back in. So around here, around August, late uh, uh, September, I got back in after the pump when it got back down. But that's how you play, it, and that's how we've been playing, it. all right. And look what happened again in two thousand twenty three. We've been eating off it, and it's been trading ever since. And so now that's the dilemma we're in: Do we get back in or not? Do I add back to the position or not? And so let's get back to the to the notes. All right. So uh, these are old notes. So just take a look at these. I'm not going to go over all these uh, old notes. They're in the, uh, the the Patreon. All right. Old, uh, old fundamentals. So the assets are almost about the same. They're still sitting at about 100,000 of uh, assets. We're going to go over uh, the earning this last earnings. We still have the nice Gematri Decoach Water 22. Caddis stock is waiting for Pluto to enter Aquarius in 2024. 220. Water will be more important once Pluto enters Aquarius. 220, those 22s. Very important. Um, I like this stock a lot. At the right price, I like this stock a lot. They're in the hemp, hemp CD, uh, CBD business as well. Um, a lot, a lot to look at. Um, some more. So let's get into uh, the 2023 notes and what I'm looking at. Um, there's been some other developments as well, and it really comes to note, all right? Before I get into the pros and cons of what I'm looking at, it comes to note where we're at. 2023 thus far, we've, I've made $308 off a CDZI, 127% gain, almost 128% gain. That's what I've done uh, in CDI thus far. OK, and as you see at the bottom here, um, at one point I had a uh, shoot, man, because I we got in so low. I think I had close to like 500 shares, something like that. Uh, but I sold quite a bit. All right. But I still have 50 shares and the cost per share is still at a real low 237. I don't know if it's ever going to get back there, um, but I'm probably going to start buying if it gets started to get below four again. Um, hopefully below 350. It really only tapped below 350 at one point. Um, we'll see. So right now, they just ran a shelf offering uh, uh, to add more shares to the float. So they're sitting at 66.5 uh, million shares outstanding. They were at 50 before. Um, and they are starting to buy other assets to try to, you know, fill out the value in the float. I've been in so many other stocks, you know, CEI that we're still in. When you see things like that, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you see growing companies, they have to take on debt to, uh, to grow. And there's going to be growing pains. And usually um, the price does get depressed because of uh, the dilution uh, per se. Again, I've seen it with CEI. Um, I, I'm still dealing with it. Uh, but, you know, uh, but, you know, as we see, most liabilities are long term. And when we look at the uh, the earnings uh, report and what they're at, at uh, in 2022 at their 10Q at the end annually, so their total assets is uh, 110 million. Their net total equity is a uh, positive 34.22 million. Their uh, total assets minus their long term debt is 41.1 million. Okay, and so with all this in mind, especially with their float at 60 uh, 66.5 million, um, their assets minus their float. 
I would say their fair value is about a dollar point uh, sixty six, a dollar sixty six cents. That's a true fair value for uh, you know what I would base that off of uh, bare bottom. And but you have to understand something about this, right? You have to understand something. Um, it's a water stock. We're going into uh, Pluto Aquarius, and um, it could be overvalued for good reasons because it's 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 going to be very important. We know water is going to be very important going forward, and the people who are already in the stock investors they know that. So, is it are we going to get one sixty six again without any more dilution? Who knows? We're still in a bear market. Um, anything can happen, um, and I have to ask myself: Am I that stingy where I have to wait? For those prices again, especially when you're looking at the chart and the charts filling out nicely. I think it could get filled out a little bit more between two and three, um, but it doesn't have to. Not all uh, gaps have to be filled, but most gaps do get filled. Um, so, you know, again, I'm not anybody's financial advisor. It's more of a conversation when we're talking about the stock. But, man, I, I think at least, you know, start nibbling on shares here and there if it gets under uh, uh, four heavily. Uh, 350 for sure. I'm gonna start adding. Um, and anything below that is a gift. And definitely look into the stock more. Um, a, lot, a lot of info on this. They're doing a lot of good things. And if they ever get that pipeline of water to Los Angeles, man, this stock going to be crazy. So um, um, definitely, I'm still gonna keep my 50 shares, if not add more. And uh, I, I'm gonna keep it on the radar. 